Right, I'm just about to unload that last load of straw that we just picked up from uh, up at Rowney Warren and uh, put it in the end of this stack and that'll be the uh, last load into the holding yard for 2018. On the 4th of October. So yeah, it's been a long season. Right, we're back in the yard now, my holding yard where I keep all my straw. And as you can see, there's a couple of big stacks there. There's one to the left, and then you've got the shed, and then behind the shed there's another one the size of the one to the left. So we've got two outside stacks there, plus the shed's full. Um, in the shed, well that's pea straw on the end of the shed. Um, it got a bit weathered sitting out, so you know, but... Then we've got best wheat straw, best barley straw, and about three loads of hay in the end. So there's a nice bit in there to sell to whoever wants that. And then we've got like two of these uh, bigger stacks there. Then, if I pan you around nice and steady, we've got another one there. We've got a big stack there. I think there's, oh, I, w I wouldn't even want to guess how many bales there are in it. There's a good few. And then you've got another one there. Another one there, another one there, and you've got three more there, they're more or less identical, them three. And I've got them, and so that's uh, one, two, three, four, that's uh, six stacks. And we've got another one there, seven, and another one there, eight. So we've got eight stacks here plus the shed full. So uh, it's the 4th of October and we've just pulled the last bales in today. Um, we've, it's a lot of bales to shift. I have got another stack, uh, another place. Um, I've got another, you know, I've stacked away from here. Um, there's twice the size, I think it's twice the size of that one there. So. Must be a lot of the straw. Uh, I would say 50% of it is discoloured. It got wet. We got rained on. Uh, we got caught with our drawers down. So we ended up doing a lot of turning, and we ended up with a lot of discoloured straw. But the power station's not going to mind. But for every discoloured one, I've got a nice clean one. You know. So uh, like this stack here, you can see part of that. You can see the difference in colour in the straw. So um, that's sort of a bit mixed up, that stack. Um, yeah, so this one here is a lot nicer. And you can see we've got the better straw at the back. So, you know, I have got some to sell to the cattle people this year if they want it. If they don't want it, then, you know, the power station can have it. But the two stacks down the bottom here them two there there's that that one you can see there and there's one the other side they are lovely straw they're all heston but it is nice straw so 
you know, that could go to the cattle job or it could go to the power station. The stuff in the shed is all for the cattle job, so they're quadrant bales. So I think I've got about eight loads of barley straw in quadrants and I've got about 10 loads of wheat straw in quadrants and it's all the best, my best straw, the best straw I could had, I baled in quadrants. So the hay I'm going to have to hang on to because I might need that to feed my cattle. Um, we've got 260 bales of silage. The lads are just out now loading up a load of late cut silage we did. You know, it's a belly filler. It ain't going to set the world alight but it will keep their bellies full over winter and I'll give them some booster buckets to go with it, you know, protein buckets and that to uh, keep the protein up and, uh, you know, just keep them healthy. My cattle are only suckler cows and uh, sort of calves at foot, so, you know, I, I am not looking to, to make a big milk yield or put loads of beef on their back. I'm just sort of, sort of, I'm at the beginning of the, uh, of the process. But no, so we've, we've got nine outside stacks and the shed full, so yeah, we've done, we've done very well, we're very, we're very happy with what we've got, well we're more than happy, I've never had, a, I've never had this much straw to sell before, um, and uh, yeah, it's in lots of different stacks, a lot of people will ask why am I building it in stacks with gaps in between, um, the answer to that one is insurance purposes we're only allowed to put 30 pound thousand pounds within each stack i'd love to spank it into one big stack but i wouldn't be able to get insurance on it so we uh, it's insured that uh, each stack's insured separately so uh, yeah there you go that's what jwb's been up to oh and uh, we're using cultivations i'll have to get some film of it we've got a verdestad carrier and the Verdestad top down we're using this year as well as the plough because the ground's very hard for ploughing and I must admit the, um, the top down is uh, doing a good job so yeah it's a lot better than that other thing I had um, oh what was it I can't remember what it was now pulls a lot easier than that it's making a good job right okay there you go I've got a few bits of film there to upload this Sunday so Alright, okay, we'll catch you later. Cheers then, bye bye.